This is the Wow Hour on Life Without Limits with John Good News. Hello, how are you doing, every one of you on Life Without Limits? I know it's been quite a while that you haven't received the fresh content. Well, I also want to believe that you have been taking time to glance through a number of things we've shared with you in the past and that you are maximizing every opportunity that God is bringing your way. Well, I'm happy that um, I have the opportunity and the time to share with you today a few things that has been on my mind regarding fulfilling your purpose, becoming the best of you, and um, making sure that you fulfill destiny and become all that God wants you to be. Today I want to talk to you about um, a few things bordering on vision, vision, dream, whatever you call it. All right, I want you to understand that every human have the right to dream. Everyone has the right to, to dream and to catch a vision. I want you to know that vision is valid. It's a valid set of assignment from God concerning you. Vision is what God shows to you that you are supposed to accomplish and make happen. Vision most times channels your energy towards making impact. It means that vision is not so much about your benefit or profit, but it is for the benefit and the profit of others. Your vision is light for others. You know, the Bible says in Psalm chapter 34 and in verse 5, speaking to God, the psalmist said, In your light we see light. In your light we see light. You see, you are the light of the world. You are supposed to give light to everyone around you. You are supposed to be the reason for the brightness around the environment God has placed you. You are supposed to be the brightness that enables people to get direction and get clarity and not stumble in any way. So, I want us to direct us to a particular portion of scripture that I love so much, especially whenever I think about or I want to talk about vision. And that is in Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 2. In Habakkuk 2 verse 2, Habakkuk says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come to pass, it will not tarry. This is a bunch of information that I want to talk about this evening about vision. Now, you must understand that the first thing that your vision requires is clarity. Now, before we get into that, I have said that vision comes from God. That is why vision is different from ambition. Vision comes from God. Ambition comes from your head. Vision comes from your spirit. Ambition comes from your head or from your mind, if you would. So, why are they different? Vision directs impact. Ambition gratifies interest, you know. Your ambition is your selfish interest, what you want to accomplish and achieve for yourself. Your ambition is you, 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 and you. But your vision is what you want to make happen, how you want to be a blessing to other people, how you want to be relevant in the lives of others, how you want to make impact and bring meaning to other people around you or even far beyond your reach. So that's the difference between ambition and vision. Now, I want to believe that you already have a vision for living. You already have a vision for your life. What is your vision? 
what is your vision what do you want to achieve in life in the lives of people in your world what do you want to make happen in your world even though vision like we said directs impact meaning it is focusing more on being a blessing to others making other people's life count you see vision does not leave out the visioner vision does not leave out the visioner because in your assignment lies your entitlement in your assignment lies your engagements in your assignment lies your entitlement in your assignment lies your benefits in your assignment lies your consignment and then in your assignment lies your provision if he sends you he will pay you if he sends you he will provide for you you see so every vision carries within it the resources that is required for the sustainability and for the well-being of the visioner god does not send you to make impact and you are left uncared for you are abandoned you are stranded no god does not do that it is important for you to understand that vision brings provision vision brings provision and that is why having a vision for life is very very important don't cry for provision if you have no vision don't cry for provision if your vision is not beyond you vision goes with provision